Jamaican ghettos in London and we will try to go to the ghettos let's see how it looks like ghettos in London Jamaican ghettos in London there is a ghetto here there is a Jamaican food you know how much I like Jamaica we're gonna just back from Jamaica I'm looking for Jamaican food Ooh, I miss my plantain I need the plantain <laughs> Dublin, Plantain, Canalu, of course, my brother. So do you know where is the, also the ghetto area? I want to go to the ghettos. This is considered to be the ghetto? No. There is no like busy ghetto, you know? Yeah, I'm looking for the vibe. What did you ask? What did you ask? I, I want to catch the vibe, Jamaican, my brother. Um, and do you know if there is like ghettos here? It's considered to be dangerous area. You know, I tie my camera to my hand. There is even guns here, huh? Yeah, so this is the it. Jamaican restaurant. Yeah. Hey, Wagwan. Are you Jamaican? Yeah. Yeah, Wagwan. <laughs> I come to, uh, to try Jamaican food. Okay. We have here Aki fish, Kalalu. Yeah, I'm really curious to know the prices. In Jamaica, it was $700 and 15 pounds, 30 pounds. Oh my God, I miss dumplings so much. They boil it. It's not fried. Thank you. Thank you. So I asked some brother, uh, where is the ghetto's area? He tell me why you need them. I want to talk with them. Yeah. So I'm looking for the ghettos. Can you tell me where is the ghetto? <laughs> they steal every day and then run to other area. <laughs> what? What the f But I have a question. Like, if someone robbed me here... No one will rob me. No, no, no. no. <laughs> I'm just asking. Yeah. They can do it in the middle of the day, even if the, the road is yeah. busy. Look, it's empty. Like, nobody here. There's some people down there. <laughs> ghetto? Sure. There is ghetto? There's some ghetto. <laughs> <laughs> I want the ghetto. <laughs> In the night, even with the camera, they can mess with me, you know? Certain places, I'm yeah. not gonna lie. Yeah. It doesn't matter for the jewelers, it doesn't matter for the shops in Oxford Street, of they'll course. smash and grab. Oh. Yeah, man. So yeah, like you can see, this is the ghetto, how it look like in London. Very different from other places that I go and explore, like you can see. But yeah, this was my day. Jamaican food, Jamaica hood, and ghettos. Yeah. Stop it. Get some help. This is getting out of hand because today Coco Girl is looking for Jamaican ghetto in London. If you didn't watch yesterday's video, maybe you want to go and check it out because yesterday she was focusing on uh, homeless people, also black people who are homeless in London. And of course we were not wrong to make that assumption that she was not being nice. Why go looking for black people who are homeless? We were not wrong at all because can you imagine she's going around London looking for ghetto, Jamaican ghetto? And first things first, <laughs> is there a ghetto in London? Guys, let us know. <laughs> if, you, if you're watching this and you're from London, let's, let us know if there's ghettos in London. Kindly let us know in the comment section because I thought London is a first world country. But of course not according to Coco Girl because <laughs> she's looking for Jamaican ghetto in London. <laughs> This is too much. Hey, she's asking the people that she meets along the way. Are they dangerous? Is it dangerous? Will they steal from me? And I'm like, why are you looking for them? If you think they'll rob you. At some point I was like, you know, what will they steal from you? To be specific. Because she was also looking for a Jamaican restaurant. And uh, when she went to that place, she just ordered um, one dumpling. And when I heard her asking, Will they rob me? What do they do for a living? Do they just steal and run? Jamaicans, the same people that you claim to love. She was even going around showing people her nails because uh, she painted Jamaican flag. Can you imagine going around asking for Jamaican ghettos, hoods in London, and asking if they'll rob her, if they'll steal from her, and at the same time you're claiming to love them. How do you love the people you're going around disgracing them? How? This is the same love, the same fake love, the same love we've been talking around here. People claiming to be Jamaicans, but doing the exact opposite. How would you come out here and claim that I love Jamaica, I love Jamaicans, when you call that Jamaican and you're still refusing to pay that person back? 
what do you mean what do you mean at some point she met these people asking them <laughs> asking these people i'm looking for jamaican ghetto and uh, these people laughed and i personally i also laughed because it's so funny just the way she was doing yesterday oh it's my brother so do you know where is the, also the ghetto area i want to go to the ghettos this is, the ghetto. You're in the ghetto. <laughs> this is considered to be the ghetto yeah. no <laughs> This is the ghetto African. But there is no like everybody. There is no like busy ghetto, you know? Yeah, but this is busy. It's just it's everything. It's just... If you didn't watch yesterday's video, just go and look it out because this was the exact same thing, but this time around she was very specific. She was very specific. She narrowed down to Jamaicans, as if Jamaicans are in London, struggling. Can you imagine a first world country like the UK? And you tell me there is a whole ghetto full of Jamaicans. This is too much. Honestly, this is too much. Let me know what you think in the comment section because this is just something else. When she told these people that uh, she's looking for Jamaican ghetto, these people laughed. And guess what they told her? Are you looking for... Something to smoke? <laughs> I didn't know, I don't know. Do they sell this, this thing you smoke in uh, ghetto areas? I didn't know that. And I don't know because it was just... Um, it was interesting to see these people asking her when, when she asked her for where, the, where she can get the ghetto community, Jamaican ghetto community in London. What? Coco girl, stop it honestly. Give us a break because uh, when she left uh, Trinidad and Tobago, I thought that uh, we'll breathe. <laughs> we'll take a break for a minute. Because of course, if, if you've been watching my videos for some time, you'll notice that uh, when she's in a black man's country, she'll make sure to exploit the kids using them for videos without without asking for permission from their parents which is something that we always we are always against it because why do you do something that you can never do in your own country that is taking advantage of people what do you think just let me know because personally i don't agree with that i honestly don't like that about a coco girl and christmas list because christmas list is someone else whom we'll talk about in today because yesterday I made a statement and uh, there were a few remarks here and there so we'll talk about him we'll uh, touch on that among other issues here and there but uh, before that we'll talk about Coco girl because I really don't understand her I think she was not satisfied by yesterday's video because when she was also looking for Jamaican ghetto she was also asking here and there where can I find the homeless where can I find the homeless but um, it's a lot are you ready for this video? Because I am. Let's start. So welcome back and welcome if this is your first time joining us. Thank you so much. I really appreciate your presence. If this is your first time watching or you've been watching and you've not subscribed, kindly consider subscribing over here like the video over here and uh, most importantly as i always say share your thoughts in the comment section let's interact as we always do and of course if you just watch the video and that is it just give it a like i think it's uh somewhere here yeah and of course thank you so much for my people thank you so much for each and every one of you who always like the video share your thoughts name it all the good stuff that you always do thank you so much if i don't appreciate you enough in the comment section Always know that I'm so grateful. So let's start the video because it's a lot. So Coco Girl she took it to another level. Why is she in London looking for Jamaican ghetto? Why? Who told her that her Jamaicans are suffering in the UK? They are the only people who are living in a specific place. You cannot tell me in a first world country like London, you will find us a specific ghetto where it's only Jamaicans living there. This is just something else. This is unacceptable. Because as I said yesterday, it's so damaging, honestly. Because can you imagine you're just a Jamaican in London when uh, someone sees you after watching Coco Girl's video, they'll think, they'll not even ask you where you live because they'll automatically assume that you live in a ghetto, this imaginary ghetto, which is not nice, honestly. If we have to name all the things that uh, that video can affect, it's so much, it's so much. <laughs> Because you can also be looking for a visa just to go and travel as a Jamaican. And of course, someone might just assume that this one is not coming back. <laughs> this one is going to live in, in the Jamaican ghetto. And of course, uh, when you go through the comment section, a lot of people, I'm not so sure, but a lot of people were, were telling Coco Girl, there is no ghetto in London. But of course, as I said, 
my people in the comment section if you're watching from london let us know is there a ghetto in london and to be specific is there a jamaican ghetto in london because personally i don't believe that you cannot tell me and uh, there is this thing that she always goes around or rather they always go around the people with the loving jamaica i love jamaica there is this thing that uh, they always like saying i'm looking for jamaican ghetto because i like because I love the Jamaican vibe. Which vibe? Which vibe are you talking about? Because we know Jamaicans to have another kind of vibe, you know? Their, their music, their personality, their country, and so much more. But not the hood life that she's trying to advertise out here. It's not that kind of vibe that Jamaica is known for. There are so many beautiful things about Jamaica that we've known Jamaica to be. Their land, it's so beautiful. Their beach, it's so beautiful. The people their music, and so much more. But now, I, when I was watching this video, I was watching this video and thinking, what is this vibe? What is this vibe that uh, Coco Girl is always talking about? And of course, anyone else who likes using Jamaican name, Jamaican people, for views. This vibe, what is this vibe that uh, Coco Girl is talking about? I can't remember anything good that uh, she mentioned about Jamaicans. It was all about, will they rob me? Will they steal from me? Will they do this? All the negative things. Coco Girl needs to stop, honestly. She's doing too much. At this point, she's doing too much. Of course, as I told you, there was an instance where uh, she met these people and she was asking, where can I find Jamaican restaurants? Where can I find Jamaican ghettos? Where can I find... And when she mentioned the ghetto, these people were laughing. Like, what do you mean? Why are you looking for this ghetto? And of course, someone assumed. One of those people assumed, are you looking for weed? Are you looking for something to smoke? Why, why? Of course, I don't know if that is what happens in a, in a ghetto community. I don't know. But now, it was just so funny. Because you can also imagine, you're just in your town, or maybe you're just in your village, and then someone comes asking you, where can I find a ghetto? Where can I find a ghetto of this community, of these people? How, what would you think? How would you react to such, a, to such a question? Of course, you'll wonder, why is this person looking for a ghetto? Let me not even talk a lot. Let's watch, then we come back. So do you know where is the, also the ghettoes area? I want to go to the ghettoes. This is the ghetto. You're in the ghetto. <laughs> this is considered to be the ghetto? Yeah, no. <laughs> the irony. I love Jamaicans. Look at my nails. That is not love. Because what is in your mind? What are you thinking about these, uh, about Jamaicans? For you to go as far as London and looking for a ghetto full of Jamaicans, you would imagine. And this is what a person who is manipulating a situation uses. I love Jamaica. Jamaica is a vibe. Jamaica this and that. That is not love. That is not love. Because why didn't she go and look? Why didn't she go and look for, and look for, for an Israel ghetto community? Why? Because in her mind, she knows that Israelites are not, uh, they don't live in a ghetto community. Maybe they are rich. They are well off. You cannot find them in this kind of community. And that is why she could not ask. But now, what does she think of Jamaicans? For her to think that they live in a ghetto. Crazy. So she was also asking, hey, will they rob? Will they steal from me? Do they have guns? These and that. All the negative things that you can imagine. And of course I was watching thinking, why would you go to this place if you think they'll rob from you? If you think the Jamaicans living in a ghetto community are robbers? <laughs> They, they have guns. What, uh, what is something that I should be aware of when I get to this place? <laughs> this is just something else. Let's watch then we come back. But I have a question. Like, if someone robbed me here... No one will rob me. No, no, no. no. <laughs> I'm just asking. Yeah. Yeah. They can do it in the middle of the day, even if the, the road is yeah, busy. The if they want to, yeah. yeah. If, they, if they don't like you, if they see you too flashy, then they will take everything. What? They are brave. The need to find these ghetto communities just crazy. And of course, she was roasted in the comment section. People were coming for her. The UK citizens were coming for her yesterday. But this time around, Jamaicans were coming for her. Like, what do you mean? Can you stop? And now, uh, of course, let's go through some a few. Today, I'll not go through a whole album of comments. No, let's read two or three comments. And then uh, we talk about Christmas list and uh, Kish My World because... Uh, some of you had uh, something to talk about that. Let's read some comments and then we'll come back. Talk about the two things briefly, then we call it a day. So this person said, why Jamaican ghetto? 
leave Jamaica alone. Jamaica has people from all work of life. Why not the rich and educated ones? Why? Because <laughs> this is crazy. You cannot tell me that she likes Jamaicans. Because why not at least give us a balance of both? Because anyone in this world, anywhere you go, there is always the rich, middle class, and you know? those who are struggling. Why is she just focused? And of course, the audacity to come for Jamaicans. When you claim that you are a Jamaican, she not only loves Jamaicans, she also claims to be a Jamaican. <laughs> this is wild. So this person said, here we go again, focusing on ghetto neighborhood because this is what sells. Unfortunately, that is what we always say out here. This is what sells. That is why you'll find Dimwango out there pretending to love Trent Town, to love this kind of community, to love this kind of lifestyle. Because that is what sells. Same to Christmas list. We'll go to a country and focus to this negative side because unfortunately that is what sells. Life has no balance. So this person said, okay, this is, this is the first time I don't like about Coco Girl. I think uh, this person has, has not watched uh, yesterday's video or um, has not watched Coco Girl's videos because this is what she does. The funny thing is that you're walking around London looking for <laughs> or asking for a ghetto. Then you went to this restaurant, you found the Jamaican food you were looking for. <laughs> but now because of the price, you just ended up eating one dumpling. <laughs> I don't know, what do you think? Is, a, is it a white people's thing to eat one dumpling? What is this? By, by then I was so shocked to see her to see her eating this one dumpling. Let's watch. 15 pounds, 30 pounds. Oh my god, I miss dumplings so much. They boil it. It's not fried. It's so nice and hot. Mm, look at that. Wow. Mm. Nice. <laughs> and using the fork as if uh, she's eating a, a steak or something. <laughs> One dumpling. But she went around London looking for Jamaican restaurant, Jamaican hood, Jamaican gates, but ended up eating one dumpling. And this is something that I noticed uh, with uh, Dimwang also, because uh, there was a time I saw her like being so surprised about her uh, Kalalu. And uh, I was so shocked because, no offense, no offense, but uh, that vegetable is something that is found in Kenya, but most of the times it's weed. It's a vegetable we eat. But not most of the time. So we even pluck the vegetable from uh, from the farm because uh, we consider it a, as a weed. But when it's dry and it's the only vegetable around or a vegetable found, we eat. Yeah, we are used to these other kind of vegetables, which is not even healthy. Skuma, skuma. We I think uh, it's collard greens in English. But uh, that was so funny to see Dimwango acting mesmerized. Acting shocked when this is something that is found in Yabohanze. When a Jamaican uncle went to Marwa's house, he found uh, this kalalu, this vegetable in a, in a field of corn, and he was so surprised that people don't eat. So that is something about them. They act, I love this, I love this. Faking, just faking, pretending to love these people. Of course, maybe they like, maybe they love because uh, you cannot help yourself but like. Jamaicans in Jamaica because of vibes like they're just nice people but not this kind of vibe that uh, that Coco Girl is talking about we don't know Jamaica for this we know them for other good things beautiful things about them this one, this one is not love this is not love this is something else that I don't even know so this person said girl, the UK has no ghettos, why chase the Jamaicans and Nigerians everywhere you go everywhere you go she, do, she doesn't even look for Jamaicans in, a, in Nigerians. Any black person. Yes, I said it because it's a fact. Because it's a fact. That is what she does. Looking for blacks to exploit, looking for black kids to use for content. It's just too much, honestly. So, this person said, you had an opportunity to ask the white guy um, tons of questions about England, about the community she was looking for, but now you are focusing on going to Jamaica, Jamaican ghettos, <laughs> and finding Jamaicans in this kind of neighborhood. There's, other, there's another level of ghetto when you find other people than Jamaican. Of course, 
she could not ask this white person the questions. She wanted the Jamaicans themselves to use them. Because if you didn't watch yesterday's video, there's uh, someone, Kish My World, he was just making his video, you know, but along the way, he shared this information that made me realize that Jamaican content sells. So this person said, this is the absolute worst, no disrespect, but be mindful of what you're doing. Wow. Yeah. So this person said, is there a connection between Jamaica and ghettos? Honestly, <laughs> because that is what you will find most of the times. Coco Girl and Dimwango doing ghetto. I like this kind of community. I like this kind of lifestyle. While, uh, while that is not their true self, when they are out of Jamaica, when they are in their own country, that is not the life they choose to live. They just go to these communities, pretend that it's full of vibes. We like this, we like that for views. So this person said, Coco, <laughs> get real. Your idea of ghetto is narrowly defined. You are looking for something that perhaps does not look as you expect. Be safe. Yeah. This person said, why are you looking for Jamaican ghetto in London? Go look for Israel communities and leave, and leave, Jamaica, and leave Jamaica alone. This is something that we've been saying out here a number without times. Before you come out here disgracing any country, any, any race, Start with yourself. Start with your country before you come out here acting like you're something that you're not. So let's talk about Kish My World. Yesterday I showed part of uh, one of his videos. I didn't mean anything negative about Kish My World. Personally, I follow him. Personally, I watch his videos like religiously because he does amazing, like amazing travel content. Travel. This is a person who doesn't go to somewhere just because they are big, just because of... Um, just because he's being paid by YouTube, not for views. Because I think uh, I think he's the only person who has gone, for example, to Lesotho. Lesotho, yeah. The only person who has gone to Lesotho. And uh, if you don't know, the content you make from Lesotho, it doesn't pay. But he does this because he loves traveling. Genuinely loves traveling. He does this kind of content without coming out here to insult people, to do this and this. No. I like his, uh, I like his videos, but now when I saw... When I saw that part where he was just opening up about YouTube and the kind of content he does, I thought of sharing because uh, it was clear, because he was passing the message that some countries you're paid good, some countries you're not paid, some countries is just there. And of course, if you watched the video, he said that uh, if you make videos from Jamaica, you're paid. Like, it's, it pays good money. If he was doing this kind of content for views, for money, he would have stayed in Jamaica. And of course, that, that is why Dimwango stays there. Comes out here to pretend that I like Jamaica, this and that, because of that specific reason. He didn't mention Dimwango, but uh, that was just among other things to show that this is not genuine love by Dimwango towards Jamaica. And of course, we don't even have to mention the reasons why we think so. Because like Jam towards is a Jamaica, he's not used to Kenya, but now... Dim Wango scammed him. He was found guilty in the courts, in a Kenyan court, and was uh, ordered to pay this person, but he has not done that. So that is why I was saying there's no way she will come out here and claim to love Jamaicans when you're doing that to one of their own. Personally, I think he's one of the best traveler in Africa, in Kenya, Africa, you can name in Kenya and Africa because he does good content, drama free. So let's talk about Christmas list. I made this statement yesterday that that when he was invited uh, to this party, of course he was invited, yes, and uh, even went to the stage. You could notice that uh, that some TNT citizens were applauding him. But uh, I think I misspoke because I said all TNT people were supporting him, were applauding him, which is not the case. I cannot play that uh, that footage out here because it has. Um, it's even so noisy. It has a uh, music in it, and uh, that is why. Otherwise, if you watch the video, not everyone was applauding him, and uh, of course, not every citizen, not every TNT citizen supports Christmas list. Personal, personally, I don't support what he does in a TNT or any black nation country, or any black man's country, because he will go to these countries and uh, focus and focus on uh, the negative side. For what reason? So, these people should just stop. 
all these things trying to portray Jamaicans this way trying to portray TNT this way that was it so thank you thank you thank you so much for watching thank you once again to my people <laughs> thank you thank you to my people for always watching for always watching the videos liking the videos sharing your thoughts in the comment section it goes it goes a long way as I always say those are the two powerful ways of of course communicating to me what you like what you didn't like and again those are some of the ways which makes the channel grow so thank you so much and now once again if you've not subscribed kindly consider subscribing over here like the video over here and most importantly once again share your thoughts in the comment section let me know what you think about the video what you think about coco girls crazy unacceptable way of describing jamaicans name it let me know let's interact as we always do so thank you so much for watching until the next video peace bye